Now, Gauteng residents were shaken awake in the early hours of this morning. A 4.4 magnitude earthquake struck parts of the province at around 2.38, causing damage to some homes in the East Rand. CCTV footage from one family in Boxburg capturing the dramatic moments has gone viral on social media. Ray Durham, who's a professor in the School of Geoscience at Wits University, joins us now for more on this. Thank you so much for your time, Prof. We do appreciate it. Very worrying. Um, the cause for this 4.4 magnitude earthquake um, is unknown at the moment. Do we know what could have possibly caused this? Is it linked to mining in the area? It is in fact, you know, likely that it is linked to historic mining. The mine nearby, the East Rand Propriety Mine, started mining in the 1890s. It closed in 2008, but it is one of the deepest mines in the world and the very extensive mining over an area of about 20 square kilometers. And so there are voids underground, and what nature wants to do is close those voids. There's the gravity acting on the rocks above the, the old stopes, the mine workings, and the rock is creaking and cracking, and every now and again there are seismic events like this. Now, right now, this is very unusual for this part of Gauteng, but 30 or 40 years ago when mining was a lot more active close to Johannesburg and along the Central Rand and in Boxburg, events like this occurred, well, not of this size, but felt events occurred practically weekly, yes, and they were not unusual then. But yes, we, I think it is likely that yes. it is related to the historic mining. Mm. Should we be worried about aftershocks, though? Because we do know that when we see um, an earthquake of this magnitude, there's a possibility of aftershocks. And how soon and how serious, if at all, we will be experiencing aftershocks? The general rule is that your biggest aftershock is about one magnitude unit smaller than the main shock. So if this was a magnitude 4.4 event, an aftershock would be perhaps a magnitude 3.4 or perhaps a bit smaller. They generally happen quite close or soon after the event within days or, or, or weeks. But uh, so, so the next event, if it was a, an event bigger than a magnitude 3, it would certainly be felt, but it would cause significant less shaking and less alarm. Should we be worried, though, uh, Prof, uh, around uh, further earthquakes? Because you, you've indicated the fact that the Earth is now trying to close those gaps caused by some of the deepest mines in those areas. Many found this so unusual, people didn't know how to react. Um, upon research and upon understanding the area in which this earthquake emanated from, uh, despite the aftershocks that we could possibly be experiencing, should we be worried about further earthquakes experienced, especially here in Gauteng? There definitely is a chance that there could be further earthquakes. And in fact, about 15 years ago, I was uh, led a study looking at the risk posed by large seismic events in the gold mining regions of South Africa. And then our conclusion was that, you know, while events will continue for years or even decades after mining stops, it is very unlikely that an earthquake will be bigger than the biggest event that occurred during mining. So, but you can never rule out that there'll be a large event, but the chances of there being a much bigger event, the biggest event that I could find a report of from this region, from the East, uh, East Rand, was about a magnitude 4.9, which is considerably big, bigger than a 4.4, but yet it's only when you get into magnitude five and a half uh, that you start to get significant damage to, to buildings and perhaps injuries and, and loss of life. Mm, certainly very worrying, and I think uh, all residents should just be a little extra cautious. Thank you so much for your insights this evening. That is Professor Ray Durham, who is from the School of Geoscience at Wits University.